All right. Okay. Let's uh, let's make way to the temple. Yep. Okay, you guys head out to the temple. La di da di da di da. And you get there. Um, Lisa is looking pretty worried and nervous during this trip after the bugbears attacked. And she kind of keeps close to you guys. Doesn't like before she would kind of, you know, just like whatever. Who does she keep closest here. to, Neil? Uh, Vincent? Okay. Rhaegar has fallen from grace. <laughs> okay. Not really into that. <laughs> yeah, but also that was in the Lisa. Seal, uh, Oh, uh, the emo types. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense yeah. with the anorexia. Yeah. 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 All right. So we roll up on the temple. Uh, I mean, can you describe it to us? What do we see? It is a monolithic marble temple. It's probably 30 feet high at the apex and probably 100 feet long. It's basically a long uh, single um, structure. Like, there's nothing jutting out. It's just like a big, long rectangle. Very tall, very long, fairly wide, made of marble, white marble, and with black streaks running through it. And there are a set of massive bronze double doors uh, in the front as you approach. I, I turn to Lisa and I ask, have you been here before? She shakes her head. What you do you know about this place? Mm, not much. I just know that this is, it's said this is where souls enter the afterworld. Alright, and that's that's all I know as well, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you'd know a little bit more. Is there any particular detail you're looking for? Um, I wouldn't know the layout of this place at all, right? No. But I know the time that the that it takes a soul to travel here and then it, for it to pass on to the under, underworld or wherever they go in this world? Uh, they say the soul, as soon as it dies, starts walking over here. And as soon as it... I mean, it walks tirelessly. And as soon as it arrives, it vanishes. So if you are nearby and die, your soul goes to the afterworld much sooner than if you're very far away and die. And there is no... Uh, there's no way to see these souls, right? It's in another plane. or right. Or this... Same world, but different plane, or right, something right. like that. Okay, so um, I relay all that to the party. Also, it's it said that once your soul passes into the underworld, you like that is your true permanent death. Like in theory, people can be resurrected, although right. it's like super almost impossible. It's like really, really fucking difficult. But the legends say that once your soul passes, walks through here, resurrection is impossible. So it says if you walk past this point, you're dead forever. No, 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 no. If you die. Once your soul, soul leaves soul. Oh, here. okay. So okay. someone that is killed near the temple is dead much, you know, is... Yeah. Super dead. Super yeah. dead. Whereas if you just get killed far, far away... Partially you're dead. Like, I mean, you're, you're fully dead, but, you know, maybe right. there might be some... Some ancient heroes have gotten resurrected, but almost no one else. Okay. So I relay all that to the party and uh, ask how they want to approach... Well, do we know what we're going to be facing in there, or do we have no clue? Yeah, we know totally what we're going to face in there. It's a three-headed dragon. <laughs> we do know there's, there's bandits in there. I mean, what are we, like, would we know generally where we're headed in there, like what we're looking for? Yes, bandits. we have a player map that came with the game itself in its case. So it's... We know that there's bandits supposed to be here, but other than that, no. Yeah. Uh, Abigail then asks Neil, "Are we going to live through this, and should we? Are we going to win with good loot?" <laughs> no. Probably no. not. Probably not. We don't see any campgrounds uh, or anything like that, Neil, from where we're standing, do we? You do not. Are we still kind of uh, like to describe it a little bit more? Is the temple kind of? amongst trees very closely or does the tree line stop and then it's kind of like flat ground and then the temple's there the trees have grown back up near the temple okay. so it's yeah trees have like grown very close to it now okay but the the ground around it is fairly well kept and on one side there is a small garden do i know if this is like a, a holy place like if people worship here uh usually people don't come out here it's really kind of like out of the way but it is like a sacred spot because but there's not like a practicing clergy or anything right there should be 
Oh, well, I mentioned that to the party and say, like, there, there should be people up there that will not be threatening to us. Huh. Uh, some sort should... of clergy. But we also need to make sure that the bandits aren't here. So Yeah, if, if the bandits haven't run them off. Yeah, or, or killed them as well. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I suppose the, uh, the ranger, the two elves of the group, should go check it out. So we're going to be looking for the clergy, I guess? Looking for anything, really. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I guess we're going to slowly approach the main door. Mm-hmm. What? Sneakily. Yeah, sneakily. I, I no longer make a lot of noise because I have the... Yeah, it's true. I don't have the plate mail. Should, you should approach we try the door? To, should we try to go in by another entrance or just go in through the main door? We, I can, have to... we can sort of case the place and walk around see if there's a, an alternate entrance real quick. All right. We're going to go around the building and What is the scope of this place, Neil? Is it gigantic or how long would it take to rock, walk around the perimeter? A few minutes. Let's do it. Yeah, let's just see everything if there's any secret exits or whatever. Or, or a way or to win- go on the any roof. Any windows, windows as well. Yeah. Or a way to go on the roof. There's no way up the roof. I mean, conceivably you might be able to like, climb a gutter or something. Um, but there's no easy access. Mm. It would be difficult. Uh, there's a, another set of bronze double doors on the opposite end, and there are stained glass windows uh, periodically built into the walls. If I try to climb, can I see in? No. They're too high up. I mean, maybe you could climb high enough. Do you want to try? Sure. Do I have you... to roll? I rolled. You okay. fail to climb. I'll try to climb. Why the beggar pushes me up? Beggar, are you gonna push her up or are you climbing? Mm, she looks dirty. Oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll try climbing first. Okay. Um, <laughs> you are successful. God damn it! <laughs> this is sucky. I, lo- <laughs> I have so much skills in climbing too. It's so I yeah, but to- you rolled really badly and he rolled a twenty. So. <gasps> I, I get up to the window, and before I look in, I look down smugly at Abigail, and I blink to her. I do this. Oh. <laughs> and I say, nice view up here. Rolls I one in combat, like, rolls 20 in climbing. Look through the window. All right, so I look through the window. What do your elves eyes see? It's a stained glass window, and you're looking through a blue panel now, so everything's tinged with blue. Um, and you see there's a couple of priests going about their business, and you also see a giant fissure in the foundation of the temple. In fact, there is no foundation in the temple at that point. You see a giant fissure in the ground, in the uh, stone, like a... And the priests are just walking around this fissure? I mean, there's priests walking about. It's not like they're intention. They're, like, walking around the fissure because it's in their way, but they're not, like, methodically or they're not doing anything right. to the fissure. And I see no, no sign of bandits. None whatsoever. Okay, I, I climb down and describe the scene to Abigail. I don't think there's any danger, at least when we first enter. We could probably grab the rest of the party and head in through the front. And they looked like cler- clerics? They did. Did you see if they had light or dark clothing? Light. Uh, red robes. But red purple because of the blue thingy. Right. Ah, very <laughs> astute. They have uh, purple cloaks. <laughs> So we can ask we can ask uh, Azrael what that means. All right, sure. So we head back. Oh, to we're the... gonna go, yeah. Yeah. Back to the party. Describe the scene to Azrael, and I ask him what do what do red cloaks mean on clergymen? Neil, what does it mean? <laughs> that they're neutral. That they're neutral. Okay. Neutrally so I... aligned. Uh, I I explain that. I I ask if you saw any. Um symbols or symbology of any gods within the temple i did not just the fissure i did see no no signs of danger though simply the the clergy great well we should go uh should go have a discussion with them sure all yeah. right okay so we just knock uh, yeah i mean uh, we can just walk in i assume yeah let's just walk yeah. in okay, okay. You guys open the giant doors. Uh, they do not squeak when they open. They're very well-oiled doors. And as you walk in, a clergyman walks over to you. 
and says, greetings and welcome. I kind of Thank motion you. towards Lisa and say, like, you know, like the nod of like, hey, it's your turn. She steps forward and says, uh, I. Is there a man here that goes by the name of <laughs> Bertram? And he shakes his head, says, no, I, I don't know of any such man. Neil's talking. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go on, Niels. <laughs> Niels. Lisa replies, uh, Are you sure? And the closure is like, Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, I live here, I work here. I know here his name Bertram. She kind of looks back at you guys and goes, Mission accomplished. I guess he's not here. Well, shit. I guess my sources are... Fuck. I don't know. So about that payment, Lisa. Yeah. What about do we that. agree on? You said we would be plentifully rewarded. She looks at Vincent and says, Vincent, do you remember what we agreed on? Son of a bitch. Um, I hate that you have, to, you have to actually remember things in this game. Yeah. It wasn't much. That. It was like 150 gold each or something like that. Yeah, that's what I was remembering. I was remembering 100 each, but... I, I chime chats. in and I go, <clears throat> Lisa, and I, I motion her down towards me. And I whisper, she... I whisper in her ear and, and I'm like, it was 3,000 for me, right? She shakes her head and says, <laughs> no, little one, no. You offered to do this for free. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> you said you had oh, to. You say that sounds about balance. Evil yes. deed that you had done earlier. Right, right, right. <laughs> I'm just like, that's <laughs> correct, right? Of course, perfect. of course. Did we hear that when People you were saying this? 500? So that's no. not right. It's like 500 gold or something like that. Yeah, so 500 each. Something. Maybe it was each. No, it wasn't 500 each. I'm pretty sure it was. She pulls out a bag, counts out some coins, looks at it, you know, moves some more over, and hands it to Vincent. He goes, well, this is most disheartening. I really was hoping to find him here. I mean, what are your sources? Like, what, what led you to believe that? Some bandits I interrogated earlier. And they said that he took the items here. She nods. Well, it's a free place. I mean, why don't we investigate and look around, at least to make sure that, you know, this is not for nothing. We, we came all the way here. Of course. Of course. And uh, you guys start looking around the temple. Yeah. Um, there's not much else going on here. It's literally just, you know, the clergyman. There's a couple other rooms where they live. But on that, the, it's, there's a big hall with uh, the rift in it which has this weird hissing sound and a, there's a slight vacuum from it, so air is always like being pulled into the temple. Hmm. Okay, and uh, we don't really see anything? I'm going to yeah. ask the cleric... There's a big uh, library here, though. It's cool. I'm going to go I'm read gonna about ask, dragons a little bit more. I'll ask the clerics what they're doing over here. Like, what makes this place special? I, I'm trying to get more info than what uh, Asriel This has. is where your soul goes when you die. It's a very important place, and we're here to guard and protect it. Fissure in it? No, there's chambers on either side of the long hall. So it's a fairly wide building as well and you've got the this thin um room that extends from one side of the temple to the other and then on either side of that you have uh other rooms that branch off except for in the very middle where there's like a you know if only we had some program that we could use to show this indeed that would be amazing be amazing right, so if this is our temple, woo, that is atrocious. It's all right. We'll let it fly. You know, they, they can't build straight lines here. It was clergymen building the temple. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, someone was drunk when they built it. It just kind of came out wobbly. Sure. Or it was straight when it was built in the fissure. Yeah. Cause it's like it. this, except the top and bottom are e uh, equal. So, like, this divide is um, halfway through the temple. And then you've got this crack that goes like this. And then there, are, these are, like, rooms over here. Yeah, those are hallways or doors, uh, walls. Jesus, I'm gonna I'm gonna start just being nosy and going into random rooms. Okay. There's the big double doors. Do, 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 do. Okay, so the first room you walk into is the big library. Uh, and that's how you knew there's a big library there. And uh, you kind of poke around. You come across a mess hall where the priests eat, and you come across like a small kitchen. And then at that point, someone's like, "Excuse me." What are you doing in the kitchen? I'm hungry. <laughs> I, I hope you brought some food with you because we barely have enough to feed ourselves here. We, we are uh, in order that does not get a lot of donations. Hmm. A lot of people don't start thinking about their souls until they're basically dead and then, well. I give him five gold and say, well, here is a donation from me. Thank me. you, sir. <laughs> Thank you so much. Then he grabs I, food. <laughs> I continue poking around the kitchen. Uh, is there any way I could get you to perhaps go back to the more interesting hole in the ground that leads to the underworld where your soul goes when you die rather than the kitchen? Hmm. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. This is kind of off limits to people. Okay. All right. He ushers Over, you out. Uh, just so you know, Neil, I give 200 gold to Asriel and 100 gold to each of the rest of us from the 500. Okay. That says, friend, thank you. Yeah, you didn't get a cut of the, the stuff we sold earlier, so I figured you could use a little extra. Sounds good. I will take it. Another one here... Other than that, though, like, I'm not a particularly good detective, so I just kind of, I look around, don't really see anything, and then I just wait by the door, sharpening my daggers. I look around as well for anything suspicious, or different looking. Okay. Uh, nothing else seems out of order. I mean, it's a weird place. This, like, constant hissing sound and the constant vacuum of the place kind of throws you off a little bit, but everything else seems to be kosher. Yeah. I'll I'm approach. gonna ask them oh, go if ahead. they ever, like, had attacks in the past, or if they're just like guarding it to prevent anything from happening ever. Like, was there a reason bandits, why? Occasionally, bandits. Occasionally, bandits or monsters will come through, but we haven't had any recent altercations. The members of our order are very strong with their spells. We can keep most at bay, and the temple itself is sturdy. It was built out of marble, which is you know, difficult to breach and these doors are pointing at the bronze doors are all but indestructible you'd need a, an army with siege weapons to get in here hmm, I see and what's your religion exactly about? our order are worshippers of Falumbra hmm. goddess of the afterlife hmm All right. All right. Well, thank you for the info. And goes, shh, what are you doing? Do, that, that is not accept appropriate behavior here. This is a whole sacred place. Sure. Do, do the, does, can the dead hear me? No, the dead cannot hear you. Okay. Hmm. Has anyone ever fallen in there? Not to my knowledge, no. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think, so uh, I think we'll be... 
I think that's all we have here to do. There's nothing else to do. <laughs> yeah. I feel like this is an interesting, uh, interesting fissure, but. Uh, I'll go back to the party and tell them about the few raids they had in the past, but that there was nothing recent. And I'll ask if they want me to try to look around with the windows to see if there's anything suspicious going in that we didn't see, but most likely there's nothing. Yeah, there's what nothing else. What do you else. guys think? Yeah. <sighs> I guess we're gonna move on. Yeah, there's nothing to do here. It's temples. Do you guys want to go back to the bugbears, or that war we were hearing about? The bugbears. Did you just casually ask if we wanted to go butcher the the last of the bugbears <laughs> in their cave? Is that what you just asked? Well, I would yeah. have asked more questions. You no, know, I'm bored now. <laughs> Let's just go fucking murder them. <laughs> Uh, we could go back to that town where they were talking about war and try to find out what's going on there. Maybe. Uh, Lisa, is there a town we can take you to? Safe passage is the ending of our mission with you. If you were to escort me back to Rift Watch, where your wagon is, you know, that would sure. be nice. Friends, do you think we could do that for her? Sure. Sure. I'm. Um, if not, I'll just leave at the same time as you and. You know, camp next to you. No, we yeah, we'll we'll I mean, escort you to yeah. Rift Watch, and then we'll decide what we're gonna do from there. Yeah, that works for me. Uh, I will say, let's take a quick break, uh, just so we can get like a full hour in. Cool. And uh, I know about the audio issues. Uh, audio issues chat. Uh, it's cause, well, it's cause of a stupid story that I'm not gonna tell <laughs> on stream. I'll tell it other. Uh, another time so we'll be right back uh in three minutes and the audio issues should be fixed by then so see you guys and thanks for watching going into hour four right after this <laughs>